Good day. Quickly do the calculations, which will be visible on your screen just now, and then we will mark it in just a second. Let's quickly mark the calculations. The first one, two to the power of three plus four squared. What is two to the power of three? Remember, you never ever multiply those two together. So it's not six. It's two times two times two. Not two for six. Two times two is four. And four times two is eight. So two to the power of three is eight. Plus four squared. Never ever multiply those two together. So it will be 4 times 4, and that is 16, plus 16, and 8 plus 16 will give me an answer of 24. The next one, have a look at this one. 5 to the power of 3. 5 times 5 times 5, 125. 125 minus 10 squared. 10 times 10, oh please don't tell me it's 20. 10 times 10, 100. And then, oh, I put this one in on purpose. 1 to the power of 7. What is that? 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. It stays 1 plus 1. Okay, so 125 minus 100 plus 1. This will be 25 plus 1, so I will have 26 as an answer. Did you get it like that? Wonderful. Let's do the third one. The square root of 100 minus the square root of 36. Can you remember what a square root mean? Remember, it is like if we have a square, we would like to know if it consists of 100 little squares what is the length of one side? And the length of one side, if I have a hundred little squares square, is actually 10. So the square root of a hundred is 10. Minus square root of 36. You may, might think of it as what times what is 36? Because square root is the opposite operation of squared. So what times what is 36? 6. And 10 minus 6, 4. Now this one, I put number 4 here on purpose as well. If you compare number 3 and 4 with one another, can you see there's a difference? Can you see that in number 4, I have both the numbers underneath the square root? So what does that entail? What should I do now? Boys and girls, and this is very important. Once you have your values underneath one square root, you need to calculate or determine them first before you do the square root. So 100 minus 64 is 36. So I will have 36. I still need to have my square root. Square root of 36. And the square root of 36 is 6. Let's have a look at number five. Two to the power of four plus the cube root of eight times the square root of nine. Can you see this? Maybe two things that might bother you here. The first thing that bothers me is the fact that I have a multiplication sign. And then I need to remember, remember, I need to do bot mass. Orders of operations. So that needs to be done before the addition. Then another thing that might be a bit tricky is the cube root of 8. Remember, if I had a cube and then it consists of 8 little cubes, what will be the dimension of, or, or, or the, of the sides? Or what will be the length of a side? We'll have a look at it just now. So, 2 to the power of 4. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That will be 16. Now, some might say, but why do I do 2 to the power of 4 first before the multiplication sign? 
Will the two to the power of four now change my question or my answer? No, so I can calculate that. I can say two to the power of four is 16. Now here, let's have a look. We need to do multiplication first, but actually this power or the square root, the cube root, need to be done first. So the cube root of eight, what times what times what is eight? It's two times the square root of nine. What times what is nine? It's three. And now I have my bot mass calculation and it might seem easier to do. So I cannot add the 16 with the two first, no. You need to do the multiplication first. And two times three is six. So I have my six there. I still have the 16 in front and 16 plus six will be 22. Number six, cube root of 27 plus square root of 64 minus cube root of 64. Ah, careful with this one. So I have a square root of 64 and I have a cube root of 64. I do not have multiplication signs, so I can do that from left to right. So let's do this cube root of 27 first. What times what times what is 27? Three. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So I know the cube root of 27 is three. Plus, the square root of 64. What times what is 64? Eight. Minus the cube root of 64. Ah, what times what times what is 64? And boys and girls, you need to know that. It is four. Okay, so I can say three plus eight, it's 11. Minus four will give us an answer of seven. Last calculation. I have brackets and I have a square outside my brackets. And inside it, I need to say square root of four plus nine. Now, what should I do first? We know that according to bot mass, the B stands for brackets. We need to do the brackets first, meaning we need to deal with the values inside the brackets first before we will do the square. So let's deal with that. The square root of four, it is two plus nine, and I still have it as a square. And then I can say that two plus nine is 11, and 11 squared will be 11 times 11, and that is 121. Boys and girls, I hope you understand this now. And even though you are grade seven, it's very important that you know the basics of exponents. Until next time, goodbye.